I wanted to make this video to give my first reaction using the Arc browser. Okay, so right away, unlike normal browsers, they're asking for a login. And that might turn some people off, I think. Let's try creating an account. Let's import stuff from Brave. We can give it a color. Select some favorites. They include an ad blocker. Everything important in Arc lives in your sidebar. I already feel good using this browser. I might switch. I mean, it has a good feel to it. I think this is a pretty cool way of doing it, of having tabs automatically close out. I'm not the kind of person that has millions of tabs open. So if they auto expire, I think that's a pretty nice feature. Having easy access to pin tabs is also nice. This is something that you can do in Chrome or Brave, but it's not super nice when you pin this. It gets really small and all you can see is the favicon and that's it. I like how you can see the pin tabs in an easier way here. So it looks like we can create a new space. So I guess the idea here is you have different spaces depending on the category of what you're doing. So you might have a workspace, you might have a social media space. I'll just say like test for now. Try swiping left and right to switch spaces. A two finger swipe is the way to go here. Can I get rid of the space? Yes. Looks like you can press command D and it'll either go into your saved tabs over here or come over here, which are just like your current tabs, which will expire later. So it looks like we can favorite a tab here and command T is our best friend. So I can say favorite tab and it shows up here on the top and I can access this from any space. Drag it out of the favorites and that's how we unfavorite it. So we can say command S to show the sidebar. Let's see what the split view does here. Split view and YouTube. That's pretty cool. Usually I just open up two browser windows, but you know, if the browser can handle it itself, that's pretty cool. Okay, so command tab, and then you can quickly jump from tabs. I, I like that, very cool. Let's play some music. Oh, super cool. So started the video, switched away from the tab, and then we got the little mini player. This seems like it's gonna be very cool. So new easel test. So I have my easel here. Let me jump back, I'm gonna do control tab. Let's try capturing, this is awesome. So I'm gonna capture this. I'm gonna save it to my test easel. That's pretty sick. Like if you find something that is interesting, you could just pop it into a easel. What can go into the easel? Look like images can go, text. It's kind of like a whimsical kind of situation here. That's pretty sick, actually. Let's see what boosts are. So I'm gonna say new boost. So I guess the idea here is kind of like creating a Chrome extension so we can inject some JavaScript. I'll say like alert, hello, and I'll save. And then, up oh, there we go, there's our alert. Overall, I think this is a very cool browser and I'm gonna probably use it. It definitely feels unfamiliar, but it's cool. I like it and I think I'll keep trying it. Let me know what you guys think. Would you wanna use it until then? I'm going to hop off and I will see you in the next one.